Hi everyone, my name is Lana and welcome to a new video! Why did I say that so weird? I don't know. But anyways, so a lot of you guys have asked me in the past to do a little bookcase tour because you see this in the background of my videos and you're curious to see what is on there. But I don't know if you've also noticed that it always changes a little bit like very slightly. And for that very reason, I never wanted to do the bookcase tour because I was like, no, I need to only do it when it's perfect. But the truth is it's never gonna be perfect because that's just how I am. I'm constantly gonna be tweaking things. And so, you know what? Instead of waiting for perfection, which will never arrive, I decided to just simply film it already. And if it changes, then I can always do an updated tour. Yeah. Cool. Also wanted to add that I'm going to do this a little bit more casual instead of doing that very like professional, you know, with like all these really nice shots. I thought that I would just use my vlogging camera and just kind of walk you through everything. I just feel like that would probably be a little bit more fun and more enjoyable to watch rather than just something pretty to look at. But anyways, enough of the chit chat. I feel like I've rambled on for way too long. Let's just get into this video. Starting off with this top section and oh my God, can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is. This is a demi guys and it was sent to me by Spelunka. Spelunka, I guess that's how you would say it more in Portuguese. They're based in Brazil but they have an Etsy shop and they have the most beautiful creatures ever for sale and this is one of them. I cannot believe how perfect it is. It's so incredibly realistic. It truly looks like it might actually be real. Um, but yeah, such a beauty. And then it's holding this beautiful wand that my friend Brian from Brown and Lobin sent me. He also has his own Etsy account. So I'm gonna link everything that I possibly can down below. You should definitely check out these two shops. They're amazing, oh my God. I feel like this camera isn't even doing it justice, how beautiful this is. But anyways, okay, moving on. So underneath I have this trunk that as you can see, I tried to scuff up, uh, didn't do the best job, but that's okay. And and it's actually the trunk that I used for one of my pictures. And I believe it is the picture that I have on my YouTube account. So like my profile picture. But yeah, it's just me coming out of that very Newt Scamander style. I got this from, where did I get this? Oh, from Home Goods. So you can always find really nice little treasures that just everyday places, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool, moving on. Here we have an interactive Marauders map. And what I mean by interactive is that it comes with a wand and it's like battery operated. So it's like a really thick boy. I would open it for you, but I've actually taped it so that it looks really pretty. So basically what you do is you use the wand that comes with this map and certain areas on the map where you place the wand, it'll light up and then you'll be able to see little footsteps. It's pretty cool. And I got this at Universal. And then right here is something that I got in one of my my subscription boxes. I can't remember which one, but here it is. I love it. And then moving on to this section, we have the golden egg that is from the Noble Collection. I love this egg very, very much, but there are a few things that I'm not so fond of. For instance, I don't love the little thing that it sits on, especially because with like a gust of wind, this thing will fall over. So it's not great for people that live in California and have earthquakes, you know? But the good thing is that it's pretty resistant, so it's fine. Um, I also wish that it would actually open, but it doesn't. So it just kind of sits there looking pretty. And I mean, that's fine, you know? You do you, boo-boo. Then moving on here, we have Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans. Um, I never opened this package because to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the actual jelly beans. Some of them taste absolutely disgusting. So I just think it looks really nice. Again, I got this at Universal. And then I got this at Universal as well. It's just a little ceramic chocolate frog box and then inside I have a bunch of pins that I really like and that I haven't had the chance to put on to anything yet so we got the gaunt ring we have ooh, this one that cherry sent me so pretty and a bunch of others but yeah oh let me actually show you this one this one's really cool look at that this is so awesome. And then over top, we have this beautiful little owl. So it's actually an ornament that I just <laughs> taped so that it can look like it's flying. I think it looks really cool. And then over here, we have a little chocolate frog that escaped from here and is just chilling on top of some books. So check out these books. Wow, they're so beautiful. So these are book replicas and this one is a replica of The Tales of Beetle the Bard. 
and oh my gosh, it is such beautiful work. This is from Alarm18 over on Instagram. He also sells some books. He's not allowed to sell these books, but I'm going to link his work down below because you should definitely check it out. Uh, but yeah, so let me, let me figure out how to do this. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so here there's like a little rune translator, I believe, right? And then we also have some library cards that he makes as well. They're so cute. It's such great details. Let me see if I can focus that. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that so cute? And on the inside, it just looks like this. So as you can see, there are a bunch of runes, but up top, you can actually read it because it is translated into English for us muggle folk. This book is just so beautiful and just so well made. It really does look like the ones from the movies. So bravo, Jack, bravo. And then underneath we have Hogwarts A History, which is from Bathilda Bagshot. She actually sent it to me herself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is also from Alarm 18. And again, you can read the entire thing. It's not gibberish or anything. Like it's actually legible. And there are little pictures and stuff. It's such a cool book. Seriously, he's so freaking talented. Oh my God, okay. But yeah, I have a few of his other books that I'm going to share as well. So for now, let me just put this like this. Okay, moving on. Then over here, we have this collection of the Harry Potter books. I've actually never read this collection. I keep it more as like a display. Um, but yeah, I just think that it looks really pretty. And now that I'm actually looking at it, it does not really look like Hogwarts, does it? At least not the Hogwarts we know. I feel like it looks, I don't know, like a storybook castle or something. But I mean, it's still nice. And then over here we have one of my favorite creatures ever. This is my little Niffler. I can't remember what I named him. I think I named him Nico. Nico the Niffler. He's so cute. So this was given to me by my friend Alvaro, which um, I'm also going to link his Etsy account down below and his Instagram and everything like that. Um, he just makes such beautiful creatures, as you can see. And then I have a little galleon in here that was made by Alarm18. Um, and then some more coins down here because obviously he's trying to steal my stuff. Bad boy. That's okay. You're cute. You can do whatever you want, actually. But yeah, oh my god. How cute is he? Look at the details. Let me see if I can focus. He's so cute. I just love you so much. You got the cute little, little face. Oh my god. Okay, anyways, moving on. And then right over here, we have Picket. This was actually, I think I got it from Box Lunch. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. It's posable as well. Oh, by the way, every single other creature that I've showed you is also posable. You can move them around and pose them however you want. Um, I like to keep my Niffler like that, unless I take a picture with him, then sometimes I put him on my shoulder. And yeah, anyways, moving on to this. This is a time turner, and how beautiful is this? It even has everything like written on the sides. So pretty. So this is from Pottery Barn Team. I have a lot of things from Pottery Barn Team just because they make the most beautiful Harry Potter things ever. It also doubles as a regular clock, but I really couldn't care less for this, so I always just keep it like this. So pretty. And then over here we have some more books from Alarm 18. So this is the Goblin Dictionary. Let me see if I can flip through that. So, oh, I mean, you know what? I'm just gonna link his Instagram down below because he has better pictures and you'll be able to get a better look at this. And then I have another one of his books. My gosh, I have so many of his books. Like there's still some more to come. But yeah, this one is just Understanding Runes. And it's also really, really pretty. Let me show you. Again, I'm gonna try to just link him down below so that you can actually take a better look at everything that he has and that he's ever made. And then underneath I just have this book that I got at the History of Magic exhibit that was happening in London. They also have one in New York. I don't know if it's still going on, um, so maybe just check online to see where it's at now, but it's really, really cool. It shows a lot of JK Rowling's work and like all of her research that she did and all of that, so it's very, very cool. And then underneath here we have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and it's the illustrated version. I have the first two as well. I don't know where they are at the moment, but they're just so much fun to read because of course they're illustrated and they just look really cool. And then I also have this, which is Tom Riddle's diary. And this I actually got for people to write some messages on my wedding day. And most people didn't really get the memo. And so they actually wrote messages on a different book, but I do have one message and it is the most special message ever. <laughs> it just looks like this. Make your guesses now, who do you think wrote all of this? Dun, da, da, dun. Yep, 
Tessa and Brizzy. I mean, who else would take the time <laughs> to write all of this? And it honestly looks exactly the way that they wrote it in the movie. So that is amazing. I seriously love them so much. Moving on here, here we have some candles. These also came from subscription boxes. I can't remember which one came from which. And then right in front of it, we have this. Why is it not focusing? So this is the Sorcerer's Stone, or if you live in the UK and maybe everywhere else, it is the Philosopher's Stone. How beautiful is that? This actually came in Cherry's uh, subscription box and it is just so beautiful. I love it. Such a cool thing to have in a subscription box. Seriously, I wasn't able to unbox it on my channel because when it arrived, a few things were going on in my life that I just didn't feel like really filming videos, but yes. Her subscription box is amazing. Do let me know in the comments if you guys have pre-ordered her new box that's coming out. Is it November or December? I know it's coming out for Christmas, but yeah, let me know. And then moving over here, what do you know? We have yet another Alarm 18 book that he sent me. And this one is all about the defense against the dark arts. And again, you can read every single page. And this is a chunky book. So a lot of work went into this. Okay, now moving on to this bookcase. And over here we have my sorting hat. I went crazy trying to look for a sorting hat that looks like the ones from the movies. And I found this one on Etsy and it just looks so perfect. I ordered it for a picture. I was going to post it on September 1st, but Again, had some like family problems and wasn't really in the mood to take any pictures, but that doesn't mean that I won't take a picture in the future with this because it's just too pretty to just sit there, you know? And then moving on over here, we have another time turner. This one was actually given to me by a subscriber years and years ago, and it's really cool. I have no idea where she got it from. I kind of wish that I knew because it looks really, really cool, and I'm assuming that it wasn't too expensive because this one is plastic whereas the other one is made out of metal but yeah if i can find it then i'll be sure to link it down below but i'm not sure if i'll be able to find it anyways and then over here i just have something that's not even magical related i just really liked it so i added some flowers called it a day and then i have this this was also from cherry subscription box and ooh, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Cherry. I just have this little lantern that I got off of Amazon. It actually does light up. Ta-da! Magic, except not really. Anyways, moving on to this. So this isn't necessarily magical related, but it does kind of remind me of the Whomping Willow, but maybe that's just me. But um, actually this is something that I got from Brazil and it's meant to bring you good luck. Moving on to this. So this, is an Akami. How beautiful is it? So this was also made by the same people that made my Demi guys. And this was actually a wedding gift from Tessa Brizzy and my friend Sarah Beth. So thank you very much. It sits over here on my bookcase looking all cute. And they also gave it to me in a little teacup. How cute is that? And then moving on to this little spell book, which is actually a planner. And it is a planner for 2020, as you can see right there. This was made by Basic Hexes, which is a friend of mine on Instagram as well and it's just the coolest little planner ever. I can't wait to fill this up with a bunch of plans for next year. Here we have another Alarm 18 book and this one is also freaking fabulous. He made it very weathered so it looks very accurate to the one that we see in the movie. And on the first page it also says, this book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. And inside there are a bunch of little scribbles as if it was meant to be Snape's old book. It's really, really cool. The attention to detail, once again, is just phenomenal. And then over here, we have a little golden snitch. And this also doubles, once again, as a clock. Can you guess where it's from? That's right, Pottery Barn. I'm telling you, Pottery Barn Teen has such an amazing Harry Potter collection, um, but yeah. It's super, super beautiful, I love it. And then over here we have my little potions corner plus a little memory vial, which also came from Cherry's subscription box. Isn't that incredible? Then I have this little Amortentia bottle, I have this little Dragon's Blood, I have Felix Valises, and then of course right next to it I have a cauldron. I got this at a witchy store in LA, and then chilling inside is my little Mandrake. This was made by my friend Mr. Malkins over on Instagram. He also has his little Etsy shop. Again, going to link him down below but yeah he makes a lot of amazing things he actually makes amazing weasley sweaters i've worn it for a video and i had so many people asking me about it it's the same guy the same guy that makes the sweater makes this he also makes a bunch of other amazing things and then moving over here we have some of my books 
This is not my entire book collection, it's just the ones that I was able to fit in here. And as you can see, I wasn't able to fit absolutely everything, but that's okay. And then we have this. I don't know if you guys remember this from my video where I attempted to read this Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stan in Scottish or in Scots, I guess. This book brings me so much joy, so I just wanted to have it on display. And then right behind it is my Hogwarts acceptance letter that my friend Raya sent over to my London flat when I was living there for two months. So cute. She didn't even tell me that she was doing it. And then one day I just found it in my mailbox and I seriously just couldn't keep it together. Such a sweet little gesture. And from these books, I also wanted to show you this. So my best friend has an Instagram account and unfortunately she doesn't update it as much because she doesn't live in LA anymore. But I just wanted to show you some of her amazing work. Oh, it's Mina. That's so funny that that's the first picture that I flipped to. Hold on. Let me see if there's a better way to do this. One second. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it like this. So she just has a collection of all of her photography and she's such a good photographer. It's unreal. I feel like she's just really good at capturing things that we normally miss whenever we go to the wizarding world. You should definitely check out her Instagram account. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is my little pig me pub. How cute is this? I got it from a subscription box as well and it is just the cutest little idea ever to add into a subscription box. I know that it looks really sad because it's in such a tiny cage, but remember you guys, it's not real. So it's fine. All right, and that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And do let me know in the comments if you guys have your own little magical corner or if you just have like Harry Potter bits sprinkled about your house. In case you're curious about me, this is actually the only Harry Potter section that I have in my house. I don't think that I have anything else anywhere. No, I don't think so. Although I feel like I should. But for now, I just have it all condensed into this little space that you see over here, just because I think that it looks really nice together, you know? I don't know, maybe that's just me. But yeah, do let me know in the comments if you have your own little corner or not, as I already said. Okay, ending the video now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Whee! Did I just dab? What? <laughs>